I can start us off? Please do, because I'm too depressed. <laughs> okay. All right. So, what are we talking about first? Probate law cases. Now, probate law cases. What is a probate law case? Well, let me tell you. Uh, first, let me give you a brief rundown of... Okay. A probate law, a probate is a law process in which a will is reviewed to determine whether it is valid and authentic. Probate law cases are basically uh, cases that have to do with wills. Um, if a will is uh, not written, if a will is authentic, written by the person who had passed, if there's any questions about the will, basically, people go to court. Saying like, oh, I don't believe that that will is real because it, this person gets all of this, and it doesn't seem like that is what, uh, and that's legit. So they go to court, they get it authenticated, and then they go on their merry way. That's the facts, Jack. <clears throat> now, prob a probate law case um, example. Uh, would you like to give your example? I know it was your story. I didn't. Uh, that we used last oh, time. Oh yeah, yeah. When my grandfather, attempt. when my grandfather passed, there was some legal trouble dealing with the family and whatever. So we had to go to that kind of court to settle that stuff out. Exactly. If you, if things aren't uh, made clear in your will, then issues like this will arise. Or if some foul play, like say someone had murdered the per the old elderly. Uh, and and their will was left, and they like forged a will. And they like changed it, so that way they would get all the money. That sounds like something. That was the plot of the movie. Uh, I don't remember what it was called. Probably The Godfather. No, it was a horror movie. It was oh goodness, what was it? It was ah uh. uh I don't remember what movie it was, but it was... 13 the, Ghosts, plot. House on the Haunted Hill, something like that. No. I'll, I'll figure it out and I'll say it later. Why don't we move on to divorce slash family law cases. Yeah, so that's basically when, you know, you're filing for divorce, um, and that's the court that decides, like, you know... Who gets what? What property does one person own while who has, like, like, it decides, like, property between two or more parties. It also can deal with children and legal agreements depending on, like, who gets custody of the kids for how much time. Do you only get weekends? Do you get every other week? Like, is it up to the kid's choice? Because sometimes in a divorce kid might be old enough to be able to kind of like make their own decisions and whatever so they can just be like I'm gonna chill with mom or dad and that was what in Pennsylvania it's what 14 or 13 I have no idea that'd be a good thing to look up yes of course wink wink nudge uh, nudge PA. Uh, uh, God, I don't. What would you call it? Uh, a twelve, thirteen, or fourteen, depending on the state. Oh, I just. Goodness, that's not good. I just, I just totally erased everything that I just typed out. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> I didn't mean to. I clicked no, the X button. No, do the accent. do press the undo button quickly. Okay, I got it back. I just in PA. Here we go. Boom. 18. You have to be 18 to decide, to, so you can legally decide. There is no magic age before they turn 18, says www.cmlaw1.com. Thank you. It is. It's a, it's a strange thing. It's very common, um, but it's strange. Very much so. So what's next? Ah, I'm glad you asked. 
property law cases. Now, property law cases have to do with property law and cases. Um, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it has to do with uh, land objects, um, you know, that might need, need to be discussed, like who owns what, if someone's building on private property uh, that they shouldn't be building on. Uh, the list goes on and on. Um, say, like, uh, like something gets stolen, like a roommate, but you don't know if it was, like, stolen or if they bought it or not or something like that, and they had this dispute. DeLorean. It's a very, yeah, like a DeLorean, like a, uh... Like that Judge Judy episode. Judge Judy episode. <laughs> You know, lots of different types of property, land, items, like I said previously. Um, what's your favorite type of property? <clears throat> Recording software, because I get to figure out if it works or not. Absolutely. My favorite type is uh, objects. Objects like a movie that I was trying to refer to earlier, but couldn't remember the name of, but now I remember. It's Your Next. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh, have not Your seen. Next. Um, I do think it's a good movie. Haven't seen it myself. It's getting dark in my room. I'm going to have nightmares. I'm not going to talk about murder. I'm not. Wait, what? Did you say if I'm going to talk about murder, you're going to have nightmares? <laughs> shouldn't have nightmares. It's 2020. It's no time for nightmares. Right? Ra. Did I scare you? You did. Except you cut out a little bit. <laughs> and so, not really. <laughs> Tort law cases, right? Exactly. Did you even hear what I said? You said court cases, court no, law I, cases. Yeah, yeah right? tort law. <laughs> oh, tort law. <laughs> tort and court sound similar. <laughs> Man, that's funny. You sounded like that little doll, or not the little doll, the uh, fortune teller Riddler that um, Jim Carrey's Riddler had in Batman Forever when you laughed there. Oh, them them jingle bells again. Yep. I don't I mean, like it. You know, you know what time that means. Do, 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 do. It's time for tort law cases. My favorite time of day. <laughs> Take it away, Griffin. Okay, so tort law is kind of like Metzger Wickersham, from what I understand. Those kind of commercials where it's like, if you've been hurt on the job, or like compensation due to something like asbestos and mesothelioma, um, you know, you can get some kind of... Workman's comp? Yeah, like workman's comp, settlement... Whatever, but, like, if something goes wrong with that, you can go to a tort law... You can have, like, a tort law case and kind of, like, reason between stuff. I think another thing that involves tort law might be, like, if you get into an accident and you gotta, like, talk to somebody Dispute if you're hurt someone. or something. Like, if it's just a car, it'd probably like be, pain. like... It might be something, like... It might go under tort um, law, but... Property like, law. Yeah, but definitely if you yourself are hurt or someone that was with you is hurt, you can have a tort law case and be like, where's the money, Lebowski? Ooh, you're, you're next. You wrap this up. All right. So equity law is – now, let me read this. According to www.law.cornell.edu – in law, the term equity refers to a particular set of remedies and associated procedures involved with civil law. These equitable doctrines and procedures are distinguished from legal ones. A court will typically award equitable remedies when a legal remedy is insufficient or inadequate. Now, 
equity law cases as an example to better explain what that means. Um, is, oh dear, this is not good, is it? You could just cut, like, uh, this thinking, this, uh, uh, um, <laughs> we, we could just cut, like, parts of this out and make it seem like I immediately got the answer. Yep. Here we go. An example of equity law is if someone is infringing on a trademark, trademark um, you can get, like, monetary damages for the loss. Uh, but your business could be ruined if they continue. Equity is the additional solution that allows a court to tell another person to stop doing something via an injunction, among other things. So let's say, like, you were digging somewhere where you weren't supposed to be digging. That's that's an example. Now, this this example that I got uh, is brought to you by www.upcouncil.com. So, so there in you a go. lot of ways, it's like YouTube as well, like, if you use someone's content and you're like trying to make money Fair off use. of it, yeah, you're trying to make money off of it. The person who owns the original material can be like, <laughs> "Stop right there, sir!" And you know, if you keep going, they'll be like, "All right, well, time to yoink your channel." Yeah, but like, if I, you're I not like you. making money off of it, and you're just like, "Hey, this belongs to the rightful owner. I'm just using it for." humor and all this stuff they're gonna be like well you can't make money off of it but good for you you can use yeah you can just use it as long as you're not making money off of someone else's material or it's not for your personal gain it's just for fun you can do whatever you like it all under, uh, falls under the fair use in youtube um, I don't know why we're still talking about YouTube, to be honest. But uh, well, it's a good example. Yeah, you, because, because that, that's why. Exactly. <laughs> I just answered my own question. That's kind of crazy. I just love when that happens. Just as crazy as how fast we re-recorded that. That was great. Well, we knew what we were doing this time. Well, exactly, yeah. Because we lost the other recording, that was kind of bad. Well, we didn't lose it, we just, Griffin's voice was not recorded. Yeah, my tech decided to not be happy. And I was not happy either. Oh, you know, you know how it'd be. I hate it when they're not happy. Yeah, they do that. It's fine, I'm a doctor. You're a doctor? <laughs> Are you the doctor? Uh, doctor, doctor, give me the cure to this awful OBS studio which decided to completely botch everything that I know and love. At least we got it. We did it better this time, I believe. We're gonna find out. We, we did it brief. We did it, uh, we did it nicely. Yeah. 15 minutes we each we shared law things instead of you just talking and me interjecting with animal crossing garbage it's not garbage you know i love it i know i know i just say garbage when i can't think of words to use other than garbage sewage rubbish tarnishables trash recycling Ah, uh, shoot, dog. Food. Perishables. Uh, consumables. You eat trash? That kind of sounds like it. I eat trash. <laughs> I'm the trash man. That's my character. I'm the rubber band man. I am the walrus. Cuckoo could chew. Sitting on a cornflake. Well, I think that's actually about it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, man. That, that was a party. That was a party and a half, is what that was. My girl wants to party all the time. Why are we saying, like, lines from <laughs> from media in, like, that tone? 
You'd be like, uh... Like a, like, uh, it's almost like Anchorman quality. Yeah. It's just, it's I am the song lyrics. In a affirmative tone. Like, uh, um, Brick Tamlin. Yep. That slapping I hear, that doesn't make I me feel good. I was smacking my keyboard. I, that doesn't make me feel good. Really like it if you'd stop. I love lamp. I love lamp. I love lamp. Yeah. Sixteen and a half minutes. That's not bad. No. Still recording. But, yeah. <laughs> I'm Rick Tamlin. You need help. No. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that's it. 17 minutes. Flat. That's great. I'm, I'm really happy that we got it. We did it better. We I'm did. In, in less than 30 minutes. You know, accidents will happen, but, you know, they lead to good things. Exactly. Egg. Exactly. When well, you thanks. come in preparing, you get the pears. I don't want to ever hear about your pears again, sir. I have pears in my Animal Crossing town. I'm a doctor. That's not my main uh, fruit, though. My main fruit is cherries. I got pears from an island. I heard something about Paris. Paris. Never been Paris. Paris. I've never, never been to Paris. <laughs> it does sound like Paris. Paris. Oh, oh no. Oh wait, that's Paris. Bears. That's Paris. <laughs> Paris. Oh no, country Paris Hall has been crushed. It makes just as much sense. Pears. Mmm, <laughs> pears. What? You love a good pear. I don't feel comfortable with this conversation anymore. We are almost at 20 minutes. Oh, it's still going. Yeah. <laughs> Is this going to be a part of the school uh, video? No. Vid no. Thank God. <laughs> There's a nice pear for you, a nice juicy pear. Stop saying that. I'm offended. <laughs> the gif is called Pear Booty Hey Turn Around Hey There GIF. <laughs> send me something. What weird search terms? Uh no. No. You should put that in the video. No. That should just be the thumbnail. No. Is the pear turning around? No. Looking at you. No. Ugh. I don't want it. You know, you know what I like about styrofoam boxes? Hmm. Makes a really good mic stand. Oh. Is that what you're using? Yes, I am. I thought you were going to say a good punching bag when your recording software doesn't work. That too. Oh. You know, I just need a good quality pillow to scream into as all of my anguish and sorrows roll out of my body in a very agonizing demeanor. Roll out of your body? Yes. It manifests itself. That's crazy. It's the craziest thing I've ever heard. I'm a crazy man. With a crazy plan? Yep, yep, yep. 